Good morning, guys. Here we are, Science Bell Work. Week one, day five, uh, continuing our theme from Monday, why are bones hard and muscles soft? So day five is always a review day, as what we've covered on days Monday through Thursday. Um, you know, we've gone over the main components and common parts of a cell, whether it's bone cell, muscle cell. We've gone over the different types of tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue. We've talked about um, the similarities and differences between muscle tissue and skeletal muscle tissue. And so today we are going to be going over, like reviewing just what we've discussed and read on days Monday through Thursday. So part A wants us to use the words in the word bank to complete the paragraph. So the smallest unit of life is a blank. So of these words we should know. And if you need to use days Monday through Thursday to refer back to to help you with these uh, vocab words, feel free to do so. The smallest unit of life is a cell. It contains a blank that, that directs all the cell's activities. So we know the control center of a cell or the command center is the nucleus. It also has a blank that acts as a barrier between the cell and the outside world. Well, we know that that barrier or shield force field is the membrane or cell membrane. Between the cell and the outside world, inside the cell there's a jelly-like substance called blank. Well, we know that jelly-like substance that holds everything in place is called cytoplasm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cells that group together to carry out a specific function are called, that would be tissue. Remember, certain tissues perform certain functions. There's muscle tissue, connective tissue, skeletal muscle tissue. So blank supports the body. So we have muscle tissue and connective tissue left. Connective tissue would support the body. And that's bones, ligaments, cartilage, tendons. And then blank helps us move. That would be muscle tissue. So part B wants us to label the nucleus or nuclei, cytoplasm and cell membrane of the cells and bone cells, muscle cells and bone cells, excuse me. So we know that this is a muscle cell, this is a bone cell. Um, we know that a muscle cell has more than one nucleus, so that would be nuclei. So I would say that when it's pointing to you know, several different locations that look like the same same thing right here. That would be the nucleus or nuclei. Over here, the nucleus is uh, the center of the cell, so that would be this part on the bone cell. So next, we're looking at this bold, dark line that's kind of going around the cell. That would be the barrier force field. That is the cell membrane. Over here, the cell membrane would be right here.
then last we would have the cytoplasm for both. <coughs> Excuse me. There you have it. There's your science bell work, week one, day five. Hope you made corrections if you needed to, and have a good day, guys.